It's been quite a tragic week for a variety of reasons, but in the boxing world, we've seen the death of Errol Christie. I know that someone that you knew very well. Um, obviously, our sympathies go out to his family and so forth. What, what are your memories of Errol Christie specifically? A sweetheart. Yes. He was a sweetheart. He was uh, gentle. He was sweet. He was, you know, you'd never know he was a, a fighter. Did you know he was suffering from this illness that he had? Uh, I had heard, um, but it was, it was detached. I didn't, it wasn't something that, it didn't sound as though it was serious. So, And it's um, interesting because obviously fighting men like yourself are known to be very tough and strong and it just it just goes to show you that we're all human and you know we can be struck down at any moment really doesn't it and it's i guess it it bring it, it brings and put things in, into perspective somewhat wouldn't you say things tragedies like this particularly people close to yourself like of that. course yeah yeah and you know to, to stay close you know um the closeness is profound because we've we've shared that ring. I mean, you know, we sparred many rounds. Uh, he was an exceptional fighter. Um, you know, and I will tell the story which should be told. You know, he took out this tooth. He took it out in 1988 at the Thomas the Beckett. Um, just a, a superb fighter. Um, in terms of actually uh, not fighting for a world title in his career, it's a funny thing. You know, some people, uh, what they put, produce in the gymnasium, um, they're not always able to produce it on the night of a fight. Um, and that's where, I mean, in the gym, there wasn't a better gym fighter than Errol Christie. There just wasn't. I mm. mean, he went all around the world sparring with uh, Marvin Hagler. I mean, he was just exceptional. Uh, an old master. Sure. But in competition, um, something just didn't quite click. Um, you know, but a great teacher. I mean, I, I learned a great deal from, well, I learned from everybody. Was that more on the mental side, would you say, that he wasn't able to perhaps translate his ability and his talent on the biggest stage? Well, that's that's it, you know. Sure. You know, you have to do it. You have to be able to do it under the under the pressure, mm. you know, of uh, judges and referees. Um, uh, still, I learned a great deal, but then I, I always learn from everyone who beat me up, and certainly he did just that in the gym with everybody. It wasn't just me. I mean, it was just it was, you know, he was brilliant, brilliant. Sure. Yeah.